This is the third consecutive weekend that North Korea has conducted a ballistic missile test going back to Mother's Day. Now, yesterday, Defense Secretary Jim Mattis says it's not just missile tests from the rogue communist regime that he's concerned about. The North Korean regime has hundreds of artillery cannons and rocket launchers within range of one of the most densely populated cities on Earth, which is the capital of South Korea. But the bottom line is it would be a catastrophic war if this turns into uh, combat. The Pentagon says the Scud missile flew for just six minutes, not as concerning as another test just weeks ago from Pyongyang of a new type of ballistic missile called a KN-17, which traveled for 30 minutes, flying a staggering 1,000 miles above the International Space Station, re-entering the Earth's atmosphere and landing just 60 miles from Russia, longer than any North Korean missile to date. Now, Ed, Secretary Mattis yesterday did not give out any red lines pertaining to North Korea, choosing instead to keep his cards close. At this time, uh, what we know I'd prefer to keep uh, silent about because we may actually know some things the North Koreans don't even know. What keeps you awake at night? Nothing. I keep other people awake at night. In the past few weeks, the Pentagon has doubled its firepower in the region. The USS Ronald Reagan Strike Group deploying from Japan joined the Carl Vinson Strike Group already in the region, giving American commanders two aircraft carriers and other warships capable of launching cruise missiles. Now, Ed, the Pentagon is also planning a missile test of its own. Tomorrow, the U.S. De Missile Defense Agency will launch an intercontinental ballistic missile into space, like the one you see here from the Marshall Islands in the Pacific, and intercept it with a missile from a base in California. Officials say it's like hitting a bullet with a bullet. And now, Ed, there's some historical significance with the Marshall Islands, of course. It was the site of the first American counterattack following Pearl Harbor. Ed? Well, and the secretary says he keeps others up late at night, a not-so-subtle message, perhaps, in a North Korean regime. We appreciate your time this morning, Lucas.